it's not the update we deserve, but the one we need right now. Hey guys, thanks for swinging on by to see Kyle the Phone Guy, and I usually defer this kind of content to my tech channel called First Issue Tech. Uh, subs, if you haven't seen that before, I produce some pretty cool content over there. We're getting to covering this and more things coming eventually. This I just had to talk about. In case you haven't noticed, today Apple actually silently refreshed, Apple actually silently refreshed their MacBook Pro line in a move that people have been waiting for and been asking for and pleading for, especially Mr. Dave2D, who literally less than a week ago just made a video on why he's so frustrated with Apple, particularly with not providing some of these updates. So the major thing that come from this is, if you're not in the know, Intel's processors have been updated, and it's a big update. The 8th gen processors have been out for at least eight months now, somewhere in that range, more than half a year. But these new processors have been out, and Windows PCs have already came out with these processors, and they are running amazingly. They are the true workhorses for productivity, for pro Professionals MacBook Pro. Needless to say that the MacBook Pro line has been, or any Mac, has been missing these 8th core chips. And what makes them so special is because they are the first Intel consumer grade hexacore or 6 core chips. Traditionally everything that comes out, even on the high end, has been 4 cores for the consumer chips. Without going into the super premium, you know, thousand dollar plus processors, you've been stuck with 6 cores. Now don't fact check me, I know that there are processors that haven't been in quite a thousand dollars with six cores but you know what I mean so why is this so important and why is this so good and why is this the update that we deserve but not the one that we need right now or the one that we need not the one that we deserve yes that's what I meant to say the update that we need because we have needed this kind of power for pros on the go and just in the Mac line in general they help push what these professionals are doing on their device and keep productivity high I know channels like Taylor's of Tech had started out with a MacBook Pro and and as the channel grew, it couldn't keep up with him, so obviously he moved on to the iMac Pro when it came out, and he switched totally over to there. However, if this update came out sooner, he might have not even had to. He might have stuck to the MacBooks, but needless to say, some people need to be more on the go, and this is going to help keep that together. This is great content production PC, and this is what we have needed, but it's not the update that we deserve. You most likely have heard about Apple's horrible, horrible backlash on their keyboards in the MacBooks and MacBook Pros. So I'm not going to go into detail, but let's just say that we still haven't got a definite answer on whether or not these new keyboards, new, they're apparently quieter, they are updated, but there's no update on whether or not these are the true replacement for the very, very bad butterfly switches in the older MacBook Pro and MacBook models that have been breaking and causing a ton of issues for more than a minority minority of people. It's been pretty widespread, I have to say. I'm, there's no numbers, but given the amount of tech tubers I, I watch, it seems almost the failure rate's up there with the Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death, and that is saying something. That was a 50 plus percent failure rate. 50 plus percent. Most people I know on YouTube that have used Mac Pros have had issues with these keyboards in some form or another, and that's not good. And this is not good that we don't know how durable and how long these are going to last. So I'm not going to hold my breath on whether or not these are going to last, but having that update to the core architecture, those processors are going to make a real big difference on the pro consumers. Whew. Now, thanks for sticking with me. That was a lot of information, but I just wanted to know because if you're into phone tech, you're most likely into these Apple products because I talked a lot about Apple products before, but these MacBooks, these MacBooks are definitely something to watch out for and something that you might be interested in. If you're interested in, let me know. I'm definitely highly interested in. I, I hate to say, but I'd almost probably, if I could trade in, I would definitely trade in this iMac and probably go for one of those MacBook Pros with a six core if they could prove that the keyboards were better. So thanks for swinging on by to see Kyle the Phone Guy. I have been Kyle the Phone Guy. You have been great. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that button and maybe like it if you can on the way. If you didn't like it, let me know why and hit that other button. I'll see you next time.